Kubes, Central Bucha next Sky Blue Plaza, Janando Kewel Supermarket, Central Bucha Chibijulu, Lubes Dakalagan, Konyeni Meduglu, Toronto Lenfa, Aman Lalen, Mil Smith, Brisket, Ozobuko Obama, T-Bone Steak, Beef Steak, Brown Steak, Andrew Coat, Lamb Goat, Lamb Chops, Liba, Chawama Meat, Yamunicha, Aman Lalen Cow Food, Aman Lalen Lachas, Aman Lalen Nak Lidi Fili, Bakan Kubes Dakalagan, Puyen Kosomasi, Toronto Lenfa Gao, Dilen Ibi from Monday to Sunday, 7 days of the week, Monday to Saturday, you know, you it will be 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, you will be 9 30 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. Central Bujan, Sendawal Halal, Nagu Reumi, Kalu Reumi, Leni Jel, Dani Lenkoi, Defaral Bumubar, pour Yer Askanui. Central Bujan, Dolen Gao, Wutilen, Dolen Gao, Settilen. Central Bujan, Chebijulo, Mungelen Wot, 303 8761, 303 8761, Wallabok 258 9583. Con Guide, Dolen Gao, Legi Leg, Central Bujan, Pofu Kessel. Il y a des gens qui ont fait des Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cold breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup systems. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. 
or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Alba, <laughs> 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 Hi, Omar Ba. Mte Omar Ba. Mte Omar Ba. Do swear that. Mbeni kani lako. Mbeni kani lako. I'll speak the truth. Mbeni Tonya lefola. Mbeni Tonya lefola. The whole truth. Tonya be. Tonya be. And nothing but the truth. Mte film fola mme manke Tonya. Film fola mme Tonya. So help me God. So alama alay makui. Uh, Mr. Ba, welcome to the TRRC. Mr. Ba, akwa abe bismillah la TRRC. Uh, before you begin your testimony, I just wish to inform you. Nibela uh, said andro damutala bela flake kalam dandingin nako that it is a criminal offence under the laws of this country to provide false testimony. Oh, nimulu anta yaldi nimbang kungkan jam puruka kumaka kumaudi me alongo amangke tonyati. And also to lie on the road. And nunke kalifana and untembo menwa rebe kalokoro. I hope you bear that in mind in giving your testimony. Uh, Mr. Ba, uh, you are a lawyer and you are a lawyer. Uh, you note that, Mr. Ba. You are a lawyer. Mr. Ba, okay, yes. Okay, thank you. I will give you the microphone. I will give you the microphone. I will give you the microphone. I have heard what you said. Thank you. Can you... Move closer to the microphone so that um, you will become more audible. Kata mai kola domanding isa je ila diamu ni si si sari domanding. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ba. Today I wish to talk to you about the following issues. Ako bi tem bensi omendo abela flafanal men kachala kanawo lerefoye tem. 
First, we would wish to discuss your background information. Uh, so that we can know who you are as a person. Uh, we would discuss the demonstration that you were to attend near the American Embassy in 1995. And what happened uh, uh, while you were at, uh, at the vicinity of the American Embassy? Uh, and your subsequent arrest and detention. We would also discuss your numerous encounters with the NIA. And when the Kachala Fanangila, the Mutarola Melanco, Akake, Wati, Wati, Akai, NIL, in NIL Temo. And some of the things that happened while you were in detention during these different periods. And when you call the Fanamel Lati, Kang, what women have been Mutolkono, you Wati Jaman Jamalkono. Um, we would also talk about what happens to some of your properties while you are in detention. Are you ready to testify about these things? Ah. Yes. Uh, what are your full names? My name is Omar Ba. Uh, when were you born? In 1955. I was born in 1955. Do you know the date? Yeah. No, I don't know the date. In your statement, it is stated 13 August 1957. What is the correct date of birth? I don't know that might be the truth because I haven't gone to school. I just listen maybe what is written is the truth. Uh, but the thing is um, the the statement takeaways was not present when you were born. You, you have to tell us what is the date. Uh, the date you provide is the date that we'd have to go by. Uh, just just what I have just mentioned. Which one? Nineteen fifty five? Or 13 August 1957. For Juma killing 1955, bang for 1957 time. Bolatala. <laughs> Whatever you decide to choose among these two is all okay with me. <laughs> uh, do you have an idea uh, which year it was? Whether it was 1955 or it was 19. Uh, 57. Well, I will say it is 1955. Well, we would not accept that reduction. We, we go with what you say. So it would be 1955. We agree on that? Yes, that's what that's it. Thank you. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Kombo Faraba. Would that be Faraba Banta? Yes, that's Faraba Banta. That's right. Um, do you have a family? Yes, I have two sisters. Uh, one is Faraba Banta, the other one is Faraba Banta. Yes, that's right. Um, do you have a family? Yes, that's right. Do you have a family? Yes, that's right. Yes, you have wives and children? Yes, that's right. 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 Yes, that's right.
in your statement here, we have it as four wives and 22 children. What is the correct thing? Uh, okay. Yes, formerly I had that, but now I have left. I have left. I have left the orders. I, I have two with me, but I have just got married recently to one in Brikama. That will make them three, right? How are you going to Yes, now it is three. <laughs> I had four before. I, I left the two. I was left with the other two. But <laughs> now recently <laughs> I got married again. So now the two are with me in Faraba and one is at Birkama. And 22 children, correct? In Dimwanga and Infula. Yes. Of just for now. Signing. Ah, what, what, what you? Yes, they are there. Those are the people there. Okay. Um, and uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I am a farmer and also a, a, a ruminant rearer. I rear ruminants like goats and so on. Okay, capital harder, right? Means the counter level. Ah, but it's time kai man will do the man for killing no sign. No, right now I, I am not doing any of those things. Okay, so this this is the job you used to do uh, previously. Ina mudo kote ika mianke nukomando. Ina mudo kote ngani mo balundi mina ne ilakarambunda fana kumastala. That's the job I was sustaining my family with, feeding my family, and that's the job I was able to get my sustenance to 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 educate my children. Uh, good, thank you, sir. So could you uh, tell us uh, what happened close to the end of the year in 1995? Around the U.S. Embassy? American Embassy, the Ambassador of Cordoba, the Mavangola. I am not sure what happened was that we prepared to go out and go to the ambassador and show him our displeasure and all the difficulties we were facing. I am not sure what happened was that we prepared to go out and go to the ambassador because we understood that if you are a citizen and there are difficult difficulties within your country, you should be somebody who can go out and demonstrate to show your displeasure. And at that time, it, it was very scary for one to go out and face the government to show your difficulties. And it was not a one-person affair. What we tried to do was to be able to mobilize the whole country so that we will come out and show our unhappiness about what was going on in the country. What was the problem at the time that you were unhappy about? You, no. say, you said it's the way the government was being run. Could no. you pinpoint particular problems? No. 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 What part of it was that living was very very hard and difficult. Things have completely changed. And in Taram Fambulo Namin Sut also freedom. The freedom we were used to in the country was no longer the type of freedom we were uh, 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 living in. And this was soon after the coup d'etat of 1994. 
Nunjinketa tari yari nge tembo mena kudeta borala 1994 kudeta nyingi borala Ah, yes uh, uh, Was it also the case that uh, you and your colleagues were against a military government? Fo, abewo kuwa kuna lafana mungu, ite ni mwonyolu Alfana mungu mketa mwole di meni alonko, almala finu eh, sojari masa kundala Ah, yes could you tell us very briefly how you mobilized yourselves to go for this demonstration? Sinang, isa afono, komiso ngoye, alle alfa mparendi noe nyadi leka alfa mkafundi ka nyokang kata anji mbala mba yake ini mwonyuru. Kwa mkafundi wanyo mafang? Maybe we are even unable to come together. What I am referring to, sir, is how did you come to personally know that there was going to be a demonstration and how did you come to be involved? Ko, alafta kamelo wole mginti ko. Itifan kundu yalo no nyadi le ko balambaya ala beli lafta kake. So ali alfa nkafundi nyo 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 ka nyadi le. Mamfa nkafundi nyo nyo mabari purka akata kafomba nika kamoto. Katu fulo le mkumi ka alkono tu dia ni wote mbefula kamoto fula. Well, we were unable to come together at all. But just to able to express myself, I am a fuller. Yes, formerly I wanted to talk in fuller, but to be able to uh, show exactly what I want, this is why I chose to speak in Mandinka. Uh, Mr. Ba, feel free to choose whatever language you want to speak in. Uh, the commission would uh, use its resources to make sure that uh, what you say is interpreted in the relevant languages. Uh, so Mr. feel ba free to choose whatever language you want Ako, to speak in. Mr. Ba, if I'm sort of wrong, I can work on the idiom of Kaola. Commissioner of the Catacol, be fair, 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 you sort of blow a fourth, you sort of sort of a fair, 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 Yes, let me just continue to talk in Mandinka because I was born among the Mandinkas and uh, that's why I can do it very well in Mandinka. I, th I think your Mandinkas is very perfect, so so proceed, please. Yes, what we questioned about is how did I get the news about the demonstration? There is a proverb in Mandinka which says that news doesn't borrow or doesn't take a boat to cross the river, but it always crosses the river. It flies, huh? <laughs> When we ha just had this information, I decided to come, got a, get up and join other people so that we can uh, continue with what we wanted to do. Can you tell us what you heard? Is our phone on your email? My name is Nyanta Kafla Nyoma. Banko Dumu Nyanta Kafla Nyoma. Kela Balamba Itandi, American Embassy. Foto Mando, Ola Demaro, Nila Kumaka, Satina Nuni Mansakunda, Mimu Yaja Mansakunda, the Akana Tenting. Banco can cut not and then the polar drum voyager. Well, the information I have had was that uh, indigents of the Gambia should come together and demonstrate to show their displacement about what the government was doing so that when we are able to reach the American ambassador and express our uh, needs to him with the stand of the American ambassador and his words, he might be able to change the government of that day so that we will get what we want in the country. Uh, I remember hearing him say, Biaya uh, Jamela, which was, sorry, which was, which was Yaya Jamela's government, which we didn't want to continue. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. And were you convinced by this message enough to want to participate in that process? Yes. And uh, were you the only person 
who came from Faraba to join the demonstration. Ita damala kita moti bang nambo ta Faraba kana kafu nyimbala mba ya mulu kona bang. Kabiri nata je nata je kunda mbali nata nda mama mwe Bale minga hanyi taka wuli kafinti kana Tumando ulu ulu wala Ndele mnata pika hafana mamu oje Ngamu kine soto oje kafu yeko guna kepe Ayo ndo nae nyo kondo nga kwenye ko Ikata mito mka mbita American Embassy I was not the only one who had this news but from Faraba, I was the only one who came out. And when I came to Brikama, I met with somebody called Bula Kebe. After I discussed with him and exchanged greetings, uh, I, he asked me where, where, where I was headed to. I explained this matter to him. He said, okay, I, I also want to take part in this demonstration. So let's go together. Proceed. Tenteng. Tenteng Kaboro. American Embassy. So I, I departed along with Buna Kebe to come and go to the American Embassy. Human Rights Center. When we were coming on the way, when we reached the Human Rights Center, he told me, but I haven't seen people. I said to him, okay, let's alight from the vehicle. We haven't seen anybody, but maybe when we stand here, some people might meet us here, or we will see some people who will come and join us. Because in the country, if there is ease, well, we will all enjoy it. But if there are difficulties, then we will all have to face that difficulty. Because well, well, in other countries, people have decided to take up guns. But, well, in the country here, if we are also ready to just raise up our hands to uh, 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 to explain what we want. I don't think that's in, there's anything wrong in that. I think we can do that. We have that right. And uh, do you recall which street you went to? You said when you arrived at the Human Rights Center and then you had this conversation, which street did you go to? Yala na bangale mbeda jumaleta, mbeda jumaleta. Katu niko alinata for center, Human Rights Center, alulota jie. For ya kilo saa mutano, alinata for mbedi jumaleta. Nara ni Nkairaba Avenue. So we took the Kairaba Avenue. Kapiti njita jietong, nka American Embassy wali. When we uh, uh, dropped at the Kairaba Avenue and we started walking towards the American Embassy, then we met with one person called Musa Kinte. If I can remember, well, that's his name. <coughs> if I see him also, I will recognize him. He asked me, well, have you come? I said, yes. I thought that he was one of the people who will join us to go to the American Embassy to raise up our hand and explain our need and whatever we want. I said to him, yes, we have come. That coincided with the arrival of a vehicle. He said, okay, board this vehicle so that we can go. Did you ask him why? Yeah, you ninkala dalila juma kang. Kaya ko mbita minto la konye ni minu nyanta kafula nyoma jang, nyanta kafula nyoma janale. I asked him, where are we going to? He said to me, well, the other people who are supposed to join us are not here. It is there that we are going to meet them. I asked him. He said the people who should come and join us are there. Let's Maybe. all go together so that we can join them. Maybe. We are all uh, facing the same issue. I asked him what? I asked him what? 
Yeah, he said, aren't you here for the demonstration? I said to him, yes. He said, okay, then let's go. We boarded the vehicle. Myself and Buna Kebe. That's how we went till we reached the Kairaba station. Then I, I saw that the vehicle turned and went into the Kairaba station. When the vehicle just stopped, then I saw a lot of his people came around. I said to Buna Kebe, well, what I have seen here is not something that uh, I like. But let's not run. Let's just uh, uh, stay calm. That's how we walked. We are right into the station. This Musa Kinte led us until we arrived at the station itself. Uh, do, do you know where the Musa Kinte, what work Musa Kinte was doing at the time? What all of you are doing? Musa Kinte. I don't know who he is. I never saw him before. That was the first day I set eyes on him. Did you come to learn what work he was doing? I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing. When we all reached the Kairaba station, I don't know what he was doing. 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 When we reached there, I thought to myself, then here it must be two things. And this, is, this is betrayal. It will must be uh, something else. Uh-huh. What I realized was that we are going to be uh, under these people's custody. Uh, so when we arrived there, the people who came out to meet us around the vehicle, somewhere behind us, somewhere on the two sides of us, uh, so I realized that, well, <laughs> these people are not part of a demonstration. Uh, whose work do you believe Musa Kinte was doing at the time? Ile jiko uto. Musa Kinte atarata kumunka jumaladu, atarata kumunkajumaladu kokeka. Ya, jame. Yeah, yeah, Jamaleji. That's what I thought. Uh, do you do, do you know which service he was working for at the time? Yeah, la na taran do kola fanna jumal do la wato la ba. Anna mo iroto na mo iko do kola NIL. Well, after what I heard was that he was working for the NIA. Why are they doing be under detention for kaba? But by that time we were already under detention. Oto mo malo ni. But initially I didn't know. Okay, so when you have arrived, when you arrived at Kairaba Station, some people came out, surrounded you, and you were uh, walked into the station. Uh, tell us what happened after that. Silang bring alfa ta alfa da police station or the Kairaba police station or the Muro Muro ya kumulo adunda police station or kona alora mall na ra imuro njim kuriya beng yaljira yal ten ten i kalsamba police station or njim kono. Silang kabu oro mune na ranake. Njim nika yenta le furo njim nika ibota mi. I was the first person they started questioning. They asked me, where are you from? I said to them, I am from Faraba. They asked my friend, he also told them that he is from Brikama. We found other people there, but I didn't know them before. But after looking around the environment, I realized that the way we were brought in is the same way that these people also were brought here. And then what happened after that? Okay, I'm Kola. Kola is not a intermediate. It's a dinkerad or a coma. Then that was the time they took us to another place behind. Would that be within the same premises? For be musan san kilingo le kono kujeva police station o kono jeva. Ah, jeva o to station o phone kono. Yes, inside the station there. Proceed. Ente. 
Inata na 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 fe ol kono jube. And they started they they started checking our belongings. Momo ye viste ila fe on fembe balaya be bondi. All of us were searched and some of our belongings were taken away from us. At around what time was this? In kera montro wati jumala. Uh so mandala ntol furaji. We arrived there in the morning. But I cannot remember now the exact time it was. And for how long did you remain at the Karaba station? It had the Morocco no jee Karaba police station or for what year? Until the jee the four hour or four five hour so after Kula. We were there till late in the evening until yeah, it was about to uh, become dark. During this period, did you give a statement? When you come to be, for in our name, you look like a di jeto lo ban safero lo ban. Jeto hani. No. Um, did they ask you any questions? Oh yeah, you ninka you ninka ro lo lo ban. Apart from where you lived and where you were coming from. Ning ning abota ibota minto la nung e e desabatu di minto la ning abota you ninka ro lo lo. Nema jena o you ninka ro damai ola keje aninfo kakumo vumi mandi antulo e. Apart from those two questions, if I can remember. That was the only questions they asked of, except for uh, they went on saying things which I didn't like at all. It has been a long time now, but I could have remembered all their faces. There is only one person I can remember, but right now I don't think he is doing anything. It looks to me like that he is not even well. Who would that person be? Well, I'm Jumati. Oh, Mato from Muda de Keko and Tenukuma, Fenkolam, for Eco for CI Jolam for NIA, but what Tembo Abjeli? He is a small man, you can have a body. He is a hefty man and fair in, col in complexion. He was part of the people who took our belongings from us, but now it looks that, like that. It looks like he is not quite well. So on that day, did they tell you the reasons why you were brought to Kairaba station? Olu mo nina. Fo ya file ya fo enne ban dalilo me ya sabu ye samba Kairaba police station oro ban olu mola. Ha na oro folo na oro folo unko musa kinte konye ko na mo nimi nyanta benanu American embassy sign ata ibijana. Well, that is just what I said before. That Musa Kinte told us the people we are supposed to join are just down there. Let's go there. This is how he took us along until we arrived at that point. Then, after going inside, then we realized that no, this is different from our mission. The, the question I asked. The question I asked Mr. Ba is uh, whether they told you the reasons why you were detained at the station. Ko ay menyininga wala menyindi ko. Fo yal ya fali na madali lo me ya sabu yal samba station police station do je yal di yal station. Kal sindi ye. Wala to ima fanyi ya fanyi le ko dronko al na ta minna ning ning eh Musa kintele ko ako al na ta minna. They didn't tell us anything at that point. It was only Musa Kinte who told us that the reason of your coming here is when we all join together, you will later know why we are here. All right, and then what happened after that? Then later on, we realized that we were under custody. When we were there until it started getting dark, then they brought a truck. At that point, a lot of people were uh, arrested and brought to that place. They said, let us board that truck. He boarded the truck. He went to the Fajara barracks. There was a hall which just looked like this place. I don't know whether it was 
where the mechanics used to work. Because the way that the house was so dirty, nobody can tell anybody. Any type of field you can think about is in that room. That's where they took us. We all alighted from the vehicle. They said to us, now we are going to stay here until the time we are ready with you people up to this stage did they inform you about the reasons for your arrest if i can remember they didn't tell us anything did they question you about your reasons for leaving faraba to come to Serekunda. For ye nyini nkala bandali lome ya sabu ibota faraba kana Serekunda. Naole fo mko Musa kinte ya funye leko alinata minna ndolfana nka mbewole kuna jam. Just as I am. Alina alibula motola natanyola. Bili ntata nata jeko ndolfana nte nata jeko saa ndolbe mutoko nole. Just as I said before, the only uh, uh, discussion we had was what I said with Ms. what I uh, told Mr. Kinte when he questioned me and said, "Yes, we are also here for the same purpose, but let's go together and join the people there." Apart from that, they didn't tell us anything. In your statement, remember uh, suffering. It is recorded that. Yes, uh, at the Kairaba station, you were accused of staging a demonstration which you denied. And uh, they insisted. And when you got fed up with the interrogation, you gave in and gave them the answer that they wanted. And did that happen or did it not happen? No, that's not true. Okay. Uh, but then you were just lured to Kairaba station by Musa Kinte uh, and uh, from there you were taken to Fajara Barracks without being informed about the reasons for 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 your for your arrest and detention. Amunda Musa kinde ye taradong ay ne ne ay samba karawa police station or je karawa police station nar ne bundi je ye samba fajara barracks to je ye sindi je. Andu mafu andu mafu dalilo mafu dalilo me asabu ye samba je ke sindi je. Ah yes. So tell us what happened at fajara barracks. Sirang fajara barracks men kere je afunyamba. Okole ad. Only hardship. Uh, give us the details of what happened at Kairaba Avenue. How many of you uh, were detained at Kairaba at Fajara Barracks? Excuse me. He had told me that he was in the Muda case in the Fajara Barracks. Or the other bag. No money. No. It's a motor and an infancy. You were plenty. If I can remember, we are we were more than forty people. Do you remember any names? Oh, how close is Moto Mutanole Bank? Ah, yes. Please tell us. Fanyam Bank. Now, more than seven five days ago. Seven five was part of us. Landing camera was there. And landing camera was also there. Lamin Kanaji was there. Lamin Kanaji was there. Alhaji Mori Keba said he can't be there. Alhaji Mori Keba said he can was also there. Amare yamfu yoldo do fatal. May Allah have mercy on their souls. All of them has passed away. Uh, the man who went with me. May Allah have mercy on him. He also passed away. Mfansu Jawara was there. May Allah have mercy on him. He also passed away. Ismaila Jawara Bijele. Ismaila Jawara was there. Nima njina musufula fanam bengono. If I can remember, there were two women among us. Kafu doe mama Jawara. 
One of them uh, is called Mama Jawara. Another one called Koso Telo. Uh, and then Sarani Jata. And Sarani Jata. And then Mamadou said one. And Mamadou said one. And Ibrahim Sonko. And Ibrahim Sonko. There was an elderly man, we called him Fanyafu. I don't know his real name. Any politicians amongst them? Well, many other people. Yes, later on, Omar Oje Jallo was also brought in. And then Mamadou said one. Plus Mamadou said one. MC Cham. MC Cham. And MC Cham. And also MC Cham. What on to put that in the focus by another old friend, Nati. And in Jai. Jai Konton Tote Jeva. And then Usain in Jai. And Usain in Jai. But they came after our arrival. In total, how many were there? A big of the Munia Kafunyo Maimojalam. Now I cannot remember the amount of people. Well, uh, there were many of us there, and it has been a long time now. I cannot remember the amount. Of there are people who I can remember, but I cannot remember their names anymore. But uh, but this is fine. Um, so can you tell us how things unfolded? Once you arrived at Fajara Barracks. Silang, nimbera re ni moment wundi obeda re. Silang, isa phone nye. Kool tamata tamata nyari le bringal tata fo alfura ta Fajara Barracks. Nima nye nanga suta kiling keje. If I can remember, we spent one night there. Koto kola le lumkiling trong somanda mbije trong fonga je sojaro ye ye e kuru bale nata kanangkan. Just after that, one morning, we just saw a large group of soldiers who came and arrived there. Some were wearing masks. I cannot, I cannot recognize them. Because of, it was a long time. But those I can remember among them was, Almamo Mane was one of those soldiers. And one Bojang, but I had them calling him RSM Bojang. If I see him, I recognize him. Because I saw him in uniform, maybe it was last year. We met in Banjo. He recognized me. I don't know whether he recognized me, but I recognized him. Okay. Up to this point, where, where you interviewed about uh, the reasons for your arrest. For Tembola, Kabri Yalsam before Kambora Jay, for Nane King, Kumandila, King Yininka, Dalilomea Sabu, sorry, King Yininka, Dalilomea Sabu, Yemudaba. You found him man in a Janika and Yininka, Duntan Konrek and Lipa Kendek. If I can remember properly, in fact, before they ask anybody, they came amongst us and started beating us seriously. Uh, well, was this when Alma Momane came with a group of soldiers? Yes, that was the day. Can you tell us what time of the day did they arrive? Uh, it was the it was during the daytime, but starting from around uh, 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 around at 11 onwards. In the morning. So in the morning. Ah. Could you tell us what happened when they arrived? It was not a wrong, 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 it was not a wrong. The way they arrived at that place and the way they, behave, they, they behaved showed us that these people are not here for peace. 
They entered among us with power, whether they are stepping on other people's feet, whether they are pushing people around, they didn't even mind. I can even remember that Alma Mumani started shooting with his gun amongst us, which was very scary. But I cannot understand whether it was a pistol or a big gun that I cannot uh, understand anymore now. The gun had, was a very powerful one and it emitted a lot of smoke. Whether it was one shot or more than that, I cannot remember. But uh, he fired his gun and we were all panicked at that time. I wouldn't like to go into names, but certain people became so panicked that they started talking by themselves. What do you mean by talking by themselves? Uh, well, they, they started talking. Okay, mm. so and uh, how did the fullers react? It was very seriously, but you know fullers are brave people. Because You have Kabunkas there and Kasinkas, but none of them be at Tembo Mumin Zeloya. Is first the dear mind to stand in front of Yaya Jamie to show your display, so ah, follow man keke jote. Well, that man will be termed as a brave man. Indeed, indeed. Nyala and uh, Almamu and his colleagues walked into that shed and started hitting all of you. And we want to understand a bit more about those beatings. Tell us what you can remember. That beating was really, really very uh, painful. It was really painful and hard. But at that time, the people who were young men amongst the people there were myself, Sidi, and Buna Kebe. Ismaila Jawara. And Ismaila Jawara, sorry. And there was somebody also called Lamin Kanaji. And one also was there from Banjul, but I have forgotten his name now. And uh, when they were told that we were going to be a to those who saw us in those days will even think that we will not survive those beatings. Uh, tell us the beatings that you personally sustained. And up to this date, I am still suffering from those beatings because my all my over my body is paining. If I don't force myself, if I get up and stand, I will not be even uh, not be able to walk even. Uh, tell us about the injuries that you sustained. 
afanya mbambar moni ye menzora ba ku fanya ro ko ba ko ko no be farata all my back was lacerated come adamadu eh ala adamadu da nyamen ate da male wolo it's just because how allah created the human being allah is the only person who knows that paro tembo ndara fon sanje kilin ka wante min si ata wote ni na den ko ora be be iba la no be jalal but uh, in those days it went up to one year if i take off my shirt you will still see the marks on my body how about the others the uh, the other your fellow detainees what kind of injuries did they sustain do kotangol do mimo nyo do kotangol do meni alanko ini meni ini ini bebe de do kono je maroko no je wol fanay mun barma sifa lel soto wol be kole a ko kilimol lel soto dimu dimi kilimol lel soto katum nu kay mol li pamenu la do bi je soja do bi je fo mo kilim fo mo fanga soja do ji je eh ay baba rol tan yan peru baba la well we all suffered the same fate because there was even one soldier who was beating people with a, 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 a piece of wood which had nails on the head of the wood abi ento li pa wonyam o li par kolan wala inata fo ko mobela after they beat us seriously then they told us all to lie down koni wote tembulala if not they will not leave us alone nata wakili mumu mubela we all agreed and lie down din mubela wanyama then we all lie down on the ground inata mu woli parole fa nata jawe ali parole beti they started the beating which was even worse than the first round o baba o mi alon pero baba la that man with the wood which had nails on it akilo ba kan mo dantano bi je awol ko mo so ay parol we peru dunte balol kon i can remember there were people whose heads the the nails penetrated and their bodies were torn ol manna baluno ko de they were unable to survive we are for dol fo ya fontene ko nende balula and in, in fact some of them even told me personally that they will not survive abol ko no fansu jawara among them was fansu jawara ko ni ko peru en so ko ko kilo to nyami He told me the way this nail penetrated my backbone. Konye ko ma mira ko abentula. I don't think I will survive that. And in akumoto. And my head and his head also. What happened to him? Muni kadala. Akumoto sota le jelo tika. His head was uh, 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 split open and blood flew from the head. Mol bi jele mini alon ko ni mol bi detention ko ni be akala. People who are among us in the detention there, we are all aware. ala li paro funa mam futa no mimma wanta mim futa joram me dum bare ay momo ma barmale well except for those he didn't beat or somewhere there his uh, beatings didn't penetrate their skin those were the only people who were not injured but all those he, he reached were all wounded lamin kanaji ay o fanam male no ko so ay ko fara lamin kanaji also got his head split and his back was torn amale yamfaya anin alaji morike ba sedikan may allah have mercy on his soul and alhaji morike ba sedikan eh abadi mul zahako to malafim ka je fofa i am appealing to his relatives i didn't even want to mention this ari satoro len foka fay koy but as far as i am going to, what i'm saying should be very clear enough ini mo kafra ko lay to ta koma if you uh, join yeah, if you if you uh, if you join with somebody into something don't mm -hmm. leave anything behind nin sataro sita nyanta satala monekata when the time for narration comes you should say everything clearly alay morike ba sedikan ya busat moto yellow tita alay morike ba sedikan when he was beaten on his head blood flew out of it and anyin koko no and his back and anyon do jama and many of the others there in fact some of them i have forgotten you told us you were asked to lie on the floor and uh, all of you did uh, what if any thing did they do to you whilst you and your colleagues were lying on the floor ye mfo mole janko eh ya kan ni ne ko ko be la teroto an nu an nata nawo kala sidan afanya ba ninga tra bi je bin ka ay kale woke ninga kabira le woke fo ku sorandala bay ko ale men ke ba 
Because Selim won't can they get down with coke and kill the What they were doing was they will climb on top of the people. They were in fact dancing on the backs of some people and beating them also. Well, as they were wearing these big boots, they will just climb on top of people and dance on you. The moment you uh, shake yourself or raise your head, they will beat you seriously. For how long did this continue? In Kwoni. It took a long time and it was really painful. In fact, some of us, as I remember, when they stopped, some of them were even unable to get up by themselves. Were the women spared? No, the way they treated those women uh, was unspeakable. So lipa back. They were seriously beaten. Yo kamu lipa rome munya nin nin woye musoma akakwala back. The beating that a man can bear, well, the same type of beating you met or you do to a woman, well, it will be really, really devastating. After that beating, what happened? Obute roni mkola munaranake. After the beating, just the way we stayed there, but I can the dolls in I do one could Time and time, some of them will come and go inside the, our group and they will start abusing and insulting us. When they came back at another time, Usain Njai and MC Cham. And Ismaila Jawara. And Ismaila Jawara. And OJ Jalo. And OJ Jalo. And Inde Kundu. And myself. They called us and took us out of that group and they took us aside and we were seriously beaten again. Beating which was very, very uh, painful. After they treated me like that, the serious beating method on me, when they transferred to the others, in fact, oh, oh. I, I, I became, I felt very sad for some of them. In fact, I nearly forgot about, about my own problem. They beat Usain Njai in a way which nobody will think a human being will treat your fellow human being like that. MC Cham Bole Nyama. That's likewise MC Cham. OJ Jalo Bole Nyama. Likewise OJ Jalo. Ismail Jawara Bole Nyama. Likewise Ismail Jawara. De Kunu Mbe Bole Jawara Mina Mam Bwam Fankalma. Myself, when I was living there, I was unconscious of myself. I cannot even remember those who got hold of me and took me inside. Uh, with all these injuries you people sustained, were you given access to medical treatment? I was Well, our people got the news that we were seriously injured. After two days, we were called and said that we should go to their hospital. When we read there, they were applying ink on the bodies of some people. And there was another type of medication, white in color. They will apply that on your skin. Some even said that they were not going there. But, but the elderly among us just said, okay, they advised us, let's all go. Because if we don't go, they might come back again and start beating us again. 
then we all agreed and went and they started applying these medications on our body. The accommodation that you had at the Fajara barracks, can you give us a good description of, of the place where you given any beds? Giarome ya kala Fajara barracks. Fasi jela alhalo is Kenya ni tani ni fo ya larang di ala lebang. Ani larang kiri. Even a single bed. Ani 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 baso wande feng kote ani feng. Even a mat or anything else. Ni mani nandoro na kari sabo keje fo karna ani mowo mowo je. If I can remember, we spent three to four months there. We didn't even set eye on set eyes on things like that. Do you know what where are you sleeping? We were lying down on bare cement. Were you given any blankets? We didn't give us anything like blankets. blankets. So during our stay there, all of a sudden one day they came again and brought in Usainu Dabo. Initially, when I saw him, I became happy. I thought that as far as he is a lawyer, he is here to talk to us. Maybe something he will be able to do something about us. After we exchanged greetings, I, to, I said to him, well, I am also here. Maybe you don't know me, but I will explain myself to you. And then? Mm -hmm. That's the time you told me, well, me myself also, I just saw myself here. I don't even know why I am here. So all of you remain detained in that place. Were you allowed to shower? We were not allowed. We stayed there like that and we became so dirty that the shirts we were wearing started tearing apart on our bodies. How about use of toilet facilities? Uh, well, if it is during daytime, they will follow you up to the toilet. And in fact, the man who used to convey me to the toilet, he will even point a gun at me and tell me, if you are not quick enough, you will see what I will do with you. Do you by any chance remember his name? Huh? Yes, I can remember one of them. Well, whether he is a Kasinka or Kabunka, they call him Chinese. He's a fair colored soldier. Okay. So, for how long were you detained in, in that place? We spent one year plus some months at that place. During this period of detention, uh, did, 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 did they take a statement from you? Did they take a statement from you? They once came there to ask people, as for me, as far as we were not all together at one uh, place, as for me, what they asked me about was, they called some of us one by one. 
What were you asked? Je vous ai dit que and the question the man posed to me was that you people came here to demonstrate and show your displeasure to Yaya Jame. Why do you want why don't you want Yaya Jame? I don't want Yaya Jame. Who else will you want? If we didn't release you here. Will remain here. If you want to uh, uh, have peace, you have to agree that Yaya Jame is the leader of this country and you have to stay behind him. I said, Well, I want to be released. But to be behind Yaya Jame, I don't want to be there. Wallahi ngolof. Billahi, that's what I said. Wallahi, that's what I said. He said, ah, I said yes. He said to me, then, you know how to deal with you. I said, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Then they wrote, but whatever they wrote there and whatever they included in their writings, I don't know that. But this is what I said. If they wrote something else, I don't know. But this, what I said here, is what I told the man. And eventually, uh, what happened to your case? Uh, I was able to get my case. I was able to get my case. Well, later on, they came back and said, we are going to court. Do you know what you were charged with? Yalla ne to mir jumal mun to mar sifa jumal le kan. Gabrin dara kitid la. Ah. Well, the court uh eka eko sedition case le. They said it was a case of sedition. Ah, man karan manina ye wolof ni manina. I'm not a, I haven't gone to school, but if I can remember, that's the word they used. Momo, it's a lawyer, you know? They said, any one of us, should, if you can get a lawyer, try and get a lawyer for yourself. I told them, me, I will not have a lawyer, because I don't have the means, and I cannot have the, uh, I cannot take a lawyer for myself. Did you, did you, did you say that to the judge? Why all of a judge on your bank? Kid will tell on your bank. And in all of them, the money and water in the air from one person to another. This is what I told my people because they stood and said every one of us should acquire the services of a lawyer. And this case, did it go ahead? Did it proceed? In case ning, we are all in court. Court ning. For another not ten ten the bank. Ah, ten ten tell it. Yes, the case proceeded. And how did it end? After some time in the case, there was a magistrate who said he was not well. He has to leave and go and seek for treatment. If I can remember, another one came. He said, let them bring us. Then when, when they had started, sometimes we will come just once in a month. Then they started coming and coming and coming. And usually when they adjourn the case, it will be the 28th or the 15th or towards the end of the oncoming month. But he was the man who said he is going to uh, do our trial. And be many now. Kiti la misili mwalenga run nene tata kiti ukon. I kiti ulonda kumomo ilafta sala esta salo. I can remember that man was that man is a Muslim because during our trial one day he stopped the case and said anybody who wants to pray you can go out and pray. And uh, during this period, were you granted any bail? Yeah, uh, in case you which on your bail, you have covered some of the details. For in order to bail, did I join? Did I 
Jojoena koni ndara momo silam ise ma ko yeku ise la fonol dila then one day he joined the case and said he is going to leave us but anyone who goes you can take bath and change your clothing proceed and then don nada jiki ko tumando ni ndara kidola ibem ibem bula la fam then we became hopeful that when we return again we might be released atum banku ke lafta min kala make because we didn't commit any crime in fact what we wanted to do we were unable to carry out our mission ya muta e mantora bake e mantora bake we were arrested and we were we were badly treated o no sita nata murna nje when we came back on the day of the adjournment komo mo ila mo ne mo soto min be be la se be that was the day they said if anybody has a relative who can bail you let them come and bail us utu ni na defo karworo kola le mba fo eh fo karna ni kola le mo ni bail us otika i cannot remember whether it was after four or six months that we were this bail was available in bail was so manda we were bailed that morning zafo telephone amafo I can say it was around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. At what time were you being arrested? Were you 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 arrested? we didn't have for do call na ka be sutia le don kidi kidole ye enin kidole ye ye murundi whether is your son or a brother or whatever relative who wants to come and reach you they will just get up and turn them back and they were always having guns so, and tell us and you we were eventually built on that day amunda ko ko ni nyalla ban wolu ni na na build ila we build the water yes when uh, they allowed us uh, to build us mon be contare njanjanta mon sa keta ike yawali we were all happy and so everybody uh, 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 departed to go to his or her home the doma kilinga nin dom endo muskilinga nin keo won na ran ni won tata nyola my brother and sister came and i left and went along with them Vurala serekunda drum when we reached serekunda we maso ko drum na mo ikafu ko yeminu eh mutan ye bel le pare ko ela belo sisle so inside the market at serekunda that's where i had the news saying that those people who were on the custody and were bailed today now their bail has been revoked did they say who revoked the bail we all for all end of the bail nyim busal bulu ban ka tal bulu now ya fali na banjuma le nyim bel nyim tal bulu ya fonya ten don ko alla bel ya sisle we were just informed that our bel was seized what did you do as a result of this information yemune ke biri nyim kibaro nyim moy murtana ndo manyol mo fulo be dame en ko ko sanyin atoleta mbal tara soko no atolu mala finale ta nyola an be munya la fo fitero ngana I, when i had this news i came back to where my brother and sister were sitting down so when i reached them i told them now you two people can go home i don't want to go along with you go home i will wait until when it is about to get dark then i'll come home and then mhm biro borara biro fo e munek nat nake do ma do tata do man dimma so kono ala ta fene sana nata afana ya mu ya nata en kumandi karla ko nyeko bare nga kumale mu ko one of my brothers went up to a point in the market he wanted to buy something i think that's where he also had been had this news he came back to me and said well i've had some news ntai ko aseke no le bari muta o muta ni sa man ke bularo le bije i said to him yes it's a possibility but every uh, 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 arrest whatever happens if you don't die during the course of the uh, cost, uh, your arrest <laughs> one day you will be free sanyin ndo ma muso nyin kana futa o mayi nyim fai then i told him don't inform my sister about this kai ko nana nga adendendin kai ko ite se ye fere ke ina e tanyo
Mm. I took him aside. I told him, now you can go home. Be Try nice. and talk to her nicely and take her along with you and go home. Be I will come and tell her that I will, um, I'll be coming, I'll be returning at night. I'll, I'll say. Go home. Mm. They weren't happy. Did they leave? Yeah, yes, they left. My younger brother <laughs> came back to me and <laughs> said to me, don't you hope that we will go and set up another plan? I said, no. Just go along with sister. Then I set up a plan and they left. And what did you do after that? I went to the Serakunda police station. I went to the Serakunda police station. After I arrived there, I greeted them. I told them, I've heard that those of us who were arrested, they decided to revoke our bail. I cannot remember the person I found there that day. I told him, look at me, I'm, I am one of those people who were arrested. Then they told me to go and sit behind the counter. That's where I sat down. I had them talking with other people, their people. Just in a short time, some other people were brought to the station. Because it was so long ago that I cannot remember those people, but we were all put on board a vehicle and they returned us. And we were taken back to the Fajara barracks. And this time round. I forgot the amount of time we spent there, but we stayed there for quite a long time. And on the second instance, were you tortured? No, they didn't beat us this time. Um, how about your living conditions? Uh, in that shed at Fajara Barracks, did it improve? Allah sabat dingira ro dingira ni doje. Wapu yangu kuroje Fajara Barracks. Yela alhalo benyani le sene ala karola. Je je fen fen na nota blau la na nota jere nota. That place is the filthiest among all places I have ever seen. Tolbe dunna je watu me. When we were going in there, no mimi je mota misa no la muwe. The amount of filth in that house, nobody can explain to anybody. Well, it was us who were brought there that we took our shoes and other things just to push the dirty things and the field to push them away so that you can have a small place where to sit down or where to lie down. Uh, you mentioned a light-skinned person at Fajara Barracks. Uh, do you recall his name? Yemmo na kumo fu fajara barracks iko memmo moti men jato kwaita. Fo ina ta tolo ne ba. Nka mo ni ka kuma ni Chinese la mato muta. I cannot remember his real name but the name they used to call him there was Chinese. But he's a soldier who really treated us he maltreated us there. Uh, does the name Abu Bakar Ba ring a bell to you? For to make a fire Abu Bakar Ba, for see how many women did one day. Abu Bakar Ba only woman killing. Abu Bakar Ba alone. I know Abu Bakar Ba. He's different from this person. This Abu Bakar Ba, you know, did he participate in in the tortures? That uh, that were meted out on you and your colleagues. Name Abu Bakar Ba men kafoteng. Fafa nani tarta mulu kuna le meni ya til tajire ya ulu la kali lipa lumen yo lipa rokala. Fafa nambe mulu kuna le ba. Abe kuna le domandi nte. Yes, he in fact is among them and he also participated very well in the beatings. And that Abu Bakar ba was also a soldier, correct? 
Andu wa Abu Bakar ba fana mu soja rol tinu fond. So this second instance at uh, Kairaba at uh, Fajara barracks, uh, how about the eating conditions? Did uh, did that improve the food? Allah ni muda fulani yangu Fajara barracks je. Allah balu oketa nyadi le alikar dumuru mensoto fa fisi atene wosilo bang. Okay, Allah fisa keta ni nete tumomi na na mol mini bengono mimi useni njia tete anin oje jalo anin MC chan ola moru ka dumuru nati dumuru jama. What improved the situation for us there was people like Usenu Njai, MC Cham, OJ Jalo, where there are people who are bringing food to them. A lot of food, in fact. That's what improved our situation there. Because among the soldiers, Gambia is a place where a lot of people know one another. And this Bubakar Ba you mentioned, is my younger brother. Manke Bakilin Fakilinti. We are not from the same mother than father. Mama Wolenin Aba Uluda. My mother, my biological mother, is from the same family with his biological mother. Welcome, Mofin Kunda Benyame. Just like as how uh, we black people live. Imato von Tatofala. If you don't name someone, I will not name the person's name. But what he did there was really, really painful. But as far as he's my younger brother, I was unable to call his name. I just wanted to leave it like that and I wanted to talk to him, but he didn't even listen to me. Up to this day now, he doesn't even listen to me. He is he still serving in the armed forces? Yes, he's still serving because I still see him in uniform. In view of what he has done, tell us in all honesty, does he deserve to wear that uniform? ตัวนี้ฟงเนี่ยเด็ดเลี้ยงกันโอ้อาจารย์เดี๋ยวเราพูดว่าเนี่ยเราเนี่ยโซเชียลอินฟอร์มอาดุมบังอาจารย์อิน
Muti ara resileti beto nyala nyininkang menketa ngao mbeole nyininkang Fuwa ajawu mala mfanyi mala mba kana sila hafe ofena fo ibadi na mfama nke ibadi nda marie kuwo kukeno Tuonyafo tuwa menketa ngao yofo nafta tuonyala ele finti nila Mwansila kuleje katuko eh, banko di mwala mati konte mbanko di utinyame I'm not afraid of anything he's a citizen as I am a citizen of this country Wale ati na minketa woketa this is why what happened has happened. It is two and effected changes. I didn't want to reach that point, but and now I will go into that. Into that point. The person we, we put ahead knows everything that has happened. Yara si janga mo ijani bwakar ba manya minke na ufanam be mo at the TRRC here, previous witnesses said what Bubakar Ba has done. I had it. And this is something true because I witnessed it. He beat people who were even older than me. He can even beat me more than that. Did he beat you more than that? And in fact, I put it to him that I am your relative, but the behavior he did after I told him this was is something that I don't want to talk about. We will be interested, we would want to know. Uh, Yes, that's not just the previous witnesses. Yes, just as the previous witnesses said. Yes, he was among the people who seriously beat people. And I even heard that OJ said it was this same person who uh, who who, uh, 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 wound, who wounded him in his eye, which resulted in his in the. Uh, defect of his eye and I was present, I witnessed it. It's the same person who did it. Thank you very much. Well if you have not asked me I would have I wouldn't have said it because he's my relative. But now I want to point it out that he did what he did. He did all what the, what has been said is what he did. Thank you very much. Uh, we were talking Council, about Council if I can just interrupt you with two really pursued in some uh, point that you are making, it is absolutely important to know whether or not during the summer regime, these um, atrocities, these uh, tortures, that somebody would um, uh, torture his own relative. And I think this might be the first time that I'm hearing that whether or not um, two people who are very close would um, go ahead and torture his own relative. So I think you should answer the question um, uh, clearly. Did you or did you not, did he or Bubakar Ba, did he or um, uh, did he not torture you? Jamela Mararo Wuchi Okono, Kuolu Menu Keta Jang, Tajiri Yalu, Kuolu Menu Yalonko, Hadamadumu Manyan na Ikela Kakenyo, Hadamadumu La. Mwolu Keta Le, Adon Silang, Nyim Bubakar Ba Memba, Abde Ala Kumo Befo Kanteng. ñimbe <laughs> There were many people who were beating, and I don't know all of them. When the time they were beating us, there were many of them, and there were many of them whom I cannot recognize, and I don't know them. Really, I know him personally. No man. He's my younger brother. He might beat me, which I cannot remember now. When he was beating other people, I saw that. He could have beaten me too.
katugo left at the my man horma no man horma because i even wanted to talk to him but he didn't even want to listen to me obije ah we no obije because we are bloodly related nabula i left him Uh, council, please continue. Sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that's an answer. At some point, we uh, talked about the food. Uh, but in the first instance of your detention, uh, uh, who provided food? Uh, the first one. <laughs> The, the, the soldiers were bringing our food. Uh, was it sufficient? Well, sometimes they will bring only two basins of food. And when this food arrives, the Kasinkas and the Kabunkas will eat everything. If you, if you are able, to just get one handful before you return your hand into the basin, it will be empty. Uncle, the suffering we, we, we encountered there from hunger, some people would not be able to survive that hunger. <laughs> okay. I can go back and do abe diam abe afokan do ya ka fa ko kon ko mo da fo fenne ka tambe i remember someone was among us one day he was talking to somebody near him he said he is so hungry that he is seeing images passing in front of his eyes ka ko bar bi kon ko mo da ban then i said to him what do you need to do you have be, you, are, you are really hungry uh, what eventually happened about this case? I left What I wanted also to add, sometimes even water to drink, we don't even get water to drink. Thank you. That's a very important one. And in the end, what happened in this case? When we were returned to the Fajara barracks like that, we were there for quite a long time. If I can remember, there was some disturbances in Farafenye. If I can remember, it was in Farafenye. On that day, well, the soldiers' camp became very hot. That day, I had that we were supposed to be released. I can't remember who, which person or who was the uh, person himself, but mm -hmm. I heard one soldier telling another soldier that mm -hmm. these people we arrested, mm -hmm. we should release them now. Mm -hmm. If we don't release these people, mm -hmm. it is a possibility that another power will come out of this country mm -hmm. and come and attack us in this country. Before that happens, let's uh, try and release these people. This happened at night, what I'm saying right now. I was not sleeping, but, but this discussion was between two soldiers who were guarding us there. I was not sleeping, uh, he reminded the other soldier that you see, these people, uh, 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 now we, they should go and take bath. You remember the last time they went to take bath? Uh, he said to him, you remember that day? That was the day, I don't know 
whom they communicated with. But if you remember, that was the day that something happened. I, I, I don't know whether a bomb exploded somewhere or whether it was a grenade which exploded somewhere. Just as I had them saying, because we were under custody, they said some died and some were seriously injured. And I remember that day when these people went to take bath on their way, some of them were even uh, uh, shouting on them. And that happened when we went to take bath. On our, on our way coming back, some of them were shouting on us. Some of them, in fact, were insulting us. And very serious insults, very nasty insults. Then when we returned back to our uh, place where we were kept, they were preparing to go outside. I don't know what they were supposed to do out. Shortly, they came back. Some were bleeding among them, and they said some of them died. At what stage were you released? Uh, 